Bolingbrook Park District is proud to be hosting this important informational event in conjunction with the Village of Bolingbrook and the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services, DCFS. Water can be fun in the summer. Let's face it, who doesn't like to swim on a beautiful hot summer day? It can also be dangerous. Our three organizations are teaming up to remind all parents and caregivers to always supervise their children when they are or near water. It is important that we join forces to get all of this information out to our public. It is my honor to introduce Bolivar Mayor Roger C. Clair to say a few welcoming comments. Thanks, Ron, and thank you for including me in this program today. Uh, and I want to thank the Park District and, of course, DCFS, Department of Children and Family Services, for putting this together. As Ron mentioned, water is a great thing. You love to swim, you love to boat, you love to fish, but it can also be extremely dangerous. People need to pay more, more attention to water when, in, when they're in it and around it. The buddy system is something we were taught as kids. Never swim without a buddy. Make sure you're being somebody's there to see you. That doesn't just apply to kids, that applies to adults too. I saw this morning that a living still here, Bodie Miller, 93 month old daughter, yesterday fell in the and drowned. Well, I'm not blaming Bodie Miller, but I can't help but think proper supervision would have stopped that. Children, as we know, grandchildren too, in my case, move very quickly. And you have to keep your eyes on them the So, thank you for including me. This is very important to get the word out and the people can come where we got ahead of us. And uh, watch your kids. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Continued support of Bolingbrook Park District and, and our residents is heartwarming. It's now my honor to introduce our co-host for this event, Nora Harms Pavelski. She's the director of child protection with the Illinois Department of, Ch of Children and Family Services. to thank our partners today, the Bolingbrook Fair, the Village of Bolingbrook, and the Bolingbrook Park District. We've all played as partners to bring this event to you today, and it's a very important event and very dear to my heart. According to the Center for Disease Control, the drowning ranks fifth among the leading causes of unintentional injury and death in the United States. And for every child who dies from drowning, Another five received emergency medical care for non-fatal submersion injuries, like brain damage. The yelling, the splashing, and the waving that we see on TV isn't the way drownings happen in real life. A drowning usually happens in silence, in seconds, and in as little as one inch of water. That's why it's important to always raise children when they're in and around a body of water. In 2017, 20 Illinois children under the age of 18 lost their lives to the accident. Ten in pools, five in bathtubs, two in rivers, and one in a drainage ditch. Illinois pools need to be fenced in. It's the law. Self-closing, self-locking gates, alarms, and other types of warning sensors can go a long way to protect your family. Toddlers have also been known to drown in buckets of water. Since a small child can be tough at it, they fall in it. It's very hard for them to stand upright. So make sure those big buckets are empty of liquid and turned over when they're not used. So thank you, Nora. We're glad that you chose Pelican Harbor for this important event. Our next speaker is the president and CEO of Starfish Aquatics, Leslie Donovan. Leslie? 
Uh, for those of you who don't know who Starfish Aquatics Institute is, SAI is a global leader in water safety and drowning prevention. Our programs, we created the Starguard Lifeguard Program. We have Starfish Swimming, which you can see in action behind you. Aquatech Pool Operator, Safety Training and Aquatic Rescue for Non-Professionals. And basically we cover the full gamut of water safety and drowning prevention programs. When Bolingbroke brought Starguard to Pelican Harbor, it was 2004. We were a small agency then, only in a few states in this country. They took a look at our program, saw what we were doing, and said, wow, this is a new way of approaching safety. It's built into every aspect of the program. I want to tell you a little bit about how we got our name. Our founder, Jill White, unfortunately couldn't be with us today. But Jill picked the name Starfish because of the starfish story. One day a man was walking along a beach and the beach was littered with starfish as far as the eye could see. And he saw a little boy picking up a starfish, throwing it into the water. The waves would crash in and, and take the starfish out. He went up to the boy and he said, what are you doing? Look at these thousands of starfish. You can't possibly make a difference. The little boy picked up a starfish threw it into the water and said, it made a difference to that one. Our motto is saving lives one at a time and we are proud to work with the village in that effort. And I would like to present Ron and your mayor with a token of our appreciation for letting us share that opportunity with you. Our next speaker is the president of Starguard Elite, Wes Long. Wes? Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you to Bowling, well, Bolingbroke Park District and to DCFS to talk about drowning prevention. And it's a subject that we just don't, we just simply don't talk about enough. Um, education, no matter every year how many of these messages and how much we go out there to strive to send this message, we simply see too many situations like Bodie Miller's situation or like Leslie was talking about, the other hundreds of drownings that happened just this, you know, just, just this past month. To understand that drowning is something that is it's, it's silent, it, it, it's very fast, and it needs to be treated with, with early, uh, early airway uh, breaths given if ever there's a situation where someone is unresponsive. 